Yo, what is up everyone? Hopefully you guys are all doing well today and welcome back to another episode of the Minecraft Survival Guide series. And I'm gonna be real with you guys, I have absolutely nothing planned for this episode. We're just gonna do whatever we can find to do. And the first thing we're gonna go ahead and do is actually extend out this side of the storage room from right here all the way down to the end right there. So yeah, and I'm pretty sure I went AFK a little bit over there with the tree farm and got us. Oh my god. Oh, a bunch of spruce logs, as you can see. Yeah, I had no idea how many spruce logs we actually get. I just AFK'd there at the tree farm for like a solid hour, I think, and uh, or at least until the bone mill ran out. And uh, I also AFK'd at the uh, mob spawner up there. And we got ourselves a stat, pretty much, uh, what is it? A double chest and a half of bones, not bone mill, of bones. So yeah, we can go ahead and use those in a future date. But like I said, let's go ahead and extend out this side of the storage system all the way down there. And uh, I guess a quick little time lapse will do. Oh my god, it's done, and uh, let me tell you something real quick. After I finished completing that, I was like, bro, how many items can we fit in the storage system real quick? So, you know, your boy did a little bit of math, right? And let's just say that one side actually holds, I'm pretty sure, 12,000 items, or I guess, no, 12,000 stacks, actually, not items, 12,000 stacks. Then, obviously, if we just combine that with another side over here, we pretty much hold 24,000 stacks of items. Then I was like, you know what? To really figure out how much we can really hold, I times it by 64, right? Which is what you get, like how many items you can hold. And let's just say your boy has just built himself, or I guess is almost about to finish up, a storage room that can fit 1.5 million items, bro. It's a 1.55 million item storage room in here. And I gotta say though, this is absolutely sick. So yeah, your boy can hold a lot of things. So yeah, now we got to figure out what farms we can fit in our world to make sure we can actually use up this entire area right here to the maximum. But there's still a problem actually with that, uh, I guess, using all of this, right? And that is, we don't have enough iron, nor do we have enough redstone actually to go ahead and actually finish up this side right here. And trust me when I say we need a lot of hoppers because we really do. Now, yes, we do have ourselves an iron farm right here, but the problem with this is that it does not actually create that much iron. Then the next problem is we only have 14 blocks of redstone, which is not good. But if we look over here to our clerics, as you can see, they trade one emerald for two pieces of redstone dust. And while it is good to have all these clerics right here, the problem is we don't have enough emeralds actually to go ahead and trade up for those redstone dust. And with those two problems, your boy has now figured out what he's going to do for the rest of this episode. So number one, we're going to be making ourselves a quad iron farm. I've already made one before, and let me just say, it's an absolute monster of a machine. Then after we finish up that iron farm, we're going to go ahead and move a bunch of these villagers right here. And we're going to move them to the storage room over here. And as far as where we're going to put the villagers, I have no idea. So we're probably going to have to figure that out. If not, we can definitely go down a level because up a level is, uh, is going to be a little tricky, actually. And just like the frame of the storage room, we can go ahead and actually make ourselves columns of villagers or just make two big sections, right? Maybe one section over there and then the other one over here of certain type of villagers. So you may be wondering what exactly is this horrifying square filled with beds and torches and one glowstone? Well, uh, let's just say that uh, since we're going to get rid of this iron farm right here, right? And we have three villagers right next to it. If you put two and two together, you guys will realize we're going to be using those three villagers right here to go ahead and breed up a bunch of villagers in this little square right here. And we have 64 beds. So that means we can get up to 64 villagers. And the reason for that is because we need 12 villagers for the quad iron farm. And also it's going to be a lot closer to move them from here to there than from all the way over there from that house right there to the storage room for the trading hall. So yeah, that's where we're going to be going ahead and doing, I think honestly for the rest of the real life day, because this is going to take a very, very long time to go ahead and breed up these villagers. So I might honestly stay here a very, very long time just breeding up these villagers. And as far as the zombie that we have right there, yeah, we're just going to move him actually during the night to the new quad iron farm. So yeah, we don't have to go look for a new villager. Okay, that was way too easy. No way that just happens. All I did was just make a bridge from like where they were at right there to there. 
I broke the beds and they just ran to there. So, hey man, making my life simple. Uh, I think we have enough villagers now. And with that, I think uh, that is it, right? Yes, yeah, so we have pretty much uh, the whole skeleton, I guess, of the entire iron farm, pretty much. So, yeah, all we have to do now is move over my guy over there. And then 12 of those villagers down there over here. So we got to do, what, three, three, yeah, pretty much three in each of these little chambers. And also, I chose uh, blacksmithing tables or blacksmith tables, whatever they're called. So, yeah, that's what we're going to go for. And also... I think we also have to make ourselves the kill chambers down there within those nine by nine squares that you see right there. So yeah, we're pretty much done with it. But like I said, we have to move those guys. So let's make the track and move them over, I guess. Also, before we connect it up, I just want to show the people that were wondering how I'm actually going to go ahead and connect it up. Well, the whole thing, right, is basically just going to be a one entire water system that connects up to the original cobblestone one, which I believe is that way. I'm not sure which is what uh, north. So, yeah, it might be north. All right. So before we go ahead and connect it up to the water system, I just wanted to show you guys how I'm actually going to go ahead and do that. And that is basically just making ourselves, I guess, a, a two by two hole all the way down to level 57 which is what can I get a, the coordinate? There we go. So yeah, that is the original like height for the cobblestone water system, which is, I believe over there. Basically everything that's going to happen is all of the iron golems are going to fall down here and actually die with lava and not like fall damage. So yeah, they're going to die by lava. Then we're going to have ice with water, pretty much just moving all of the iron over here. Then once they reach this spot right here, I believe, which is the correct spot, it's actually going to go down here in the middle. Then that one's going to connect up to the middle as well and then go that way and connect up to the water system from the cobblestone generator. And that looks like this with some packed ice, some iron pressure planes, some signs and some lava. So yeah, if we get rid of that lava real quick before we actually burn ourselves here. And that's basically all it is. All we did was just put ourselves packed ice on level what? 57. Yep. So it's still on the same level. Then we just made it to where it goes over here. Then we have this water stream right here that actually connects up to the original water stream from the cobblestone generator. And then boom, right here. Yeah, this goes all the way over here to the machine. I believe we go take this left. Yep, so that right there just goes straight up to the actual storage room. Oh, he's he's on. He's on. Oh my gosh, it's on. It's on. Do we get an iron golem? That is the real question. No? Iron golem over there? No? No, no iron golem? We might have to wait until night actually to see if we actually get an iron golem or not. Oh, man. Uh, I guess we have to wait. Oh, actually, hold on. Oh, we might only have to wait like two or three minutes actually to see if this is going to be working or not. I need that back. I need that rail. Well, I guess it, we could say it's 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 working perfectly, except for one thing. It's not working at all. And that's because, um, yeah, you know what? I totally forgot. You're not supposed to have any type of uh, iron farm within tw tw 20 blocks of another uh, village, you know, and uh I'm pretty sure these guys right here are very, very close to these guys over here. So, <laughs> yeah, I think we have to go ahead and move those guys first over there into the storage system. Then we can see whether this works or not. If that doesn't work, then I have completely wasted my time on this farm because it did not work at all. And what I have in mind right now is to go ahead and actually build the, I guess, the frame of it. Pretty much similar to this one of the storage room. Would just, I guess, fit it to where... Oh, uh, 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 he's, he's dying. Oh, what? We have two? I don't know how that... Uh, whatever, whatever. So, yeah, I basically want to make it to where this is the same thing down there. It's just that instead of for four blocks high, it's for, like, two blocks high. And we can change it here and there, you know. So, at the moment, I don't know. Now, another thing. How many blocks below this are we going to have the farm? And, like, how are we going to go down there? Because I'm kind of thinking maybe what we can do is have... A staircase right here in the middle, maybe let's say in between this section, right? Then over here on this side, we can go ahead and just make ourselves a little railing or something like that. So we can still access each of the chests and still have a staircase down here towards the villagers. But I think the first thing we have to go ahead and do is actually the staircase because I want to figure out how we're going to do that. And then we can go onto the railing and then actually move it over to the villagers to over here. All right. So what I have behind me is what the trading hall is actually going to look like. And if I turn around, that's basically it. So yeah if we look at this real quick uh the villagers are gonna stand on that level right there so a villager there 
here, 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 basically on that level, right? Each block. Then we have one trap door right here, making sure that all the villagers don't go into one cell and, you know, kind of just mess up the entire system. So we're going to have that so they become separated. Then we also have this right here, which is going to pretty much like separate each column or I guess each type of villager. And it's actually on the same block as the one on top right there. So yeah, that's pretty handy to have. Then we have light sources right there, which are redstone lamps, just making sure that we don't have any type of mob spawns inside the actual villager cell. And on the outside, even in here, I'm still going to put some torches or some other type of lighting. But yeah, that's basically it. Then also one more thing is that this is only one block thick pretty much. So yeah, as you can see, this is the lining up here. And then the other one, uh, well, I, I can't really show it. So yeah, that's for the chest. And that's that one right there. The one for the villagers is literally just below it. And you guys may also notice that this is extremely long and I also got rid of like all the blocks right here. So I was kind of thinking we should go ahead and just leave this the way it is, honestly, and just have, I don't know, maybe like the, the railing, like we said before, right there. And if you guys notice, this is also dug out pretty deep right there. And it goes all the way to the edge of the storage room right there. And I think I'm gonna leave it open pretty much the entire time so we can see both inside from up here and then up there from down here. So yeah, I think we're gonna leave it like that. Then, like I said earlier, the railing will be a pretty good idea to have. So, yeah, maybe we can do that as well. And uh, honestly, I was kind of thinking maybe we can do a little bit of glass, but I'm not sure just yet. So we'll have to hold on that idea. But uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna go ahead and actually like collect up the materials and actually start digging out this side as well. So we can go ahead and start moving the villagers pretty soon. Oh, oh, what is that sound? It's some villagers. Let's get it. So, yeah, your boy has moved. What is that? I think 16 villagers over here to the first two columns on the uh, right side, I think. Eh, it depends on which way you look at it. But yeah, we have the first two columns filled up with clerics. And honestly, it wasn't that bad to move them. But I mean, still, it took a long time. So yeah, we all have, what, 32 rotten flesh for one emerald and then one emerald for two redstone dust. So that's going to be pretty good. Now, for a little bit more, uh, I guess, explanation. So... I have thought about it and I think for the time being, we're going to go ahead and use only three villagers and then maybe a fourth one. So yeah, basically what's going to happen is we're going to do four columns actually, or I guess four little frames right here filled up with the same villagers. So first two there and then the first two right here are all going to be clerics. Then the next two over here is going to be farmers and then the same thing over here, farmer, farmer. Then coming over here is going to be librarian, librarian, and then yeah, these two are going to be librarians as well. But if you notice, we're going to have one left over, or I guess two left over right at the end. Well, for the time being, we can go ahead and fill those in with a tool smith. But I think in the future, we probably should build ourselves an, another frame or I guess another section of the storage room just that way. At least one more just so we can have an, a symmetrical amount of the tool smith. So, yeah, we would probably need just maybe one more section over there. But uh, besides that, I think it's uh, looking pretty good, honestly. So maybe a quick little AFK session right here at the mob spawner or even the gold farm would could be a pretty good idea because these guys also take gold. So maybe a good AFK session could be a pretty good idea to go ahead and get some emeralds. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and move over another 16 clerics over here to this side of the storage room. And then probably from there, maybe do a quick little AFK session over there at the gold farm and then probably return just to go ahead and fill in the rest of the villagers, which is going to be what, 32? No, not 32. Actually, 64 villagers. Yeah, because we need to move what? Uh, 16 there and then another 16 there that's 32 and then 32 there 32 here yep we're gonna need 64 villagers all right everyone as you can hear i am tired and uh that's because that's finally done we we moved almost every single villager over there which i think was around like i think a little bit less than 60 villagers so yeah we managed to do that and as you saw right there we have the farm working. Oh, and there goes another one. So, yes, we both have the iron farm and the training hall down there actually pretty much complete. I want to do a couple more things before we end off today's episode. And the first one is I think I'm going to go ahead and get rid of another two layers of grass right here. And then also another thing is to go ahead and put down walls all the way down towards the bottom of that. Because as you can see right there, the iron golems actually get stuck right here on the edges. So, yeah, we kind of need to move them to... Uh, to the middle right here so either we change these into glass blocks which might be a good idea as well or go all the way down with the raw uh what's it called walls not rocks <laughs> so either one of them works oh and uh yeah there he goes so yeah we have the iron firm now working and uh yeah let's just say that that is a problem right there because if it goes around again there yep as you can see it's not going to spawn another one until we actually move this guy into the middle and uh can we probably not yeah we'll leave them for now then the next problem is uh we ran out of villagers so yeah we managed to get what 16 on this side and then 16 over here so 32 villagers actually oh not not oh my gosh i was thinking 60 no we got 32 villagers down here and they're all clerics 
Then the first 16 from here all the way over here, I believe, are either emerald or diamond, which is a pretty, pretty good. So, yeah, I did a little AFK session at the gold farm. Managed to go ahead and, you know, trade up a lot of things for these guys. And uh, let's just say we got a lot of redstone and a lot of glowstone. So that was pretty nice. Then the guys over here are actually still brand new. So, yeah, we can go ahead and trade up with them at some point. And then uh, if we go here past this one, we have a one lonely farmer. And, uh, yeah, hopefully we can get lucky and he actually gets, uh, what do you call it, melon and pumpkin. So if we don't get that, we're kind of screwed. So, yeah, but uh, besides that, yeah, the problem is... We don't have enough villagers, and uh, I think, what, that's 32, so we need, it, what, 16 there, 16, 32, then another 32 over here, so what, 64 villagers plus another, I think, what, 16? Yeah, something like that, so like, what, a stack and eight, something, no, 16. Yeah, so we need to get a lot more villagers, and well, I don't want to break my iron farm anymore, so what I think I'm going to go ahead and do is actually move this little, I guess, breeder pretty much over here to the tree farm side, or at least over here, right? So it's going to be a lot smaller, and it's going to be a lot closer, which is going to be helpful as well, but yeah, I just want to get it away from our iron farm over there. But besides that, we pretty much don't have any more problems, but there is a couple more things that we have is... uh. Yeah, as you can see, the iron over here is going, yep, and it's it's going into this hopper right here, and we don't want that. So, I think another thing we have to go ahead and do is go ahead and AFK the iron farm to go ahead and collect up all of these hoppers that we need. Because, yeah, we ran out over here at the sugarcane, right? Yeah, we ran out over here at the sugarcane. So, maybe a quick AFK session, then we finish up the hoppers back here, and then maybe we can go ahead and call it there for today. So, yeah. You know what? That sounds like a plan. Let's go ahead and AFK at the iron farm for a couple hours, and then we'll come back. All right, I think that's enough time. Let's go see how much iron we got at the storage system real quick. It, oh, okay. Then what is that? 9, 10, 11, 11 and a half stacks of iron. And uh, I'm going to be real with you guys. It's not 11 and a half. Yeah, we actually had two rows right here of iron filled up. I actually used up a lot because if we go back here real quick, yeah, all of these are finished up. So, yeah, we used up a lot of iron actually, and it was pretty much almost like two rows. I think it might have been a little bit over two rows. So, yeah, we got two rows with, I think, maybe within like an hour or something like that. I'm not sure. So it looks like the iron is done, and uh, if we quickly go outside the storage room, you see we have ourselves the breeder with our two villagers, which is all we have left. Actually, I'm going to make you a, uh, what do you call it, a farmer, actually. So, yeah, we only have two more, and uh, we need to go get some bread, actually. I don't know when I'll do that, but I'll go get some bread sometime in the future and make sure these guys breed up a lot so we can get a lot more villagers. Also, another thing, if you saw... We used to have a river here, and it's no longer here. Yeah, I covered it all up. Well, at least I covered up from there to, like, right around that corner right there. So, yeah, no more river right here, but we do got to light it up because it is uh, kind of dark here at night. So, we got to do that. Then, popping over here to the iron farm again, you see, we have, uh, I guess, glass, gla glass, yeah, instead of walls. So, yeah, I decided to change it out to glass instead of just keeping a wall. So, I mean, it's not that much of a, I guess, a difference, but still, you know, we did that. Also, I kind of changed my mind, actually, because the original point of me getting rid of this first layer up here was to make sure, like, we have the iron golem spawning up there in the actual pods, right, like that, and not on the floor. But it looks like all of the iron golems have been spawning inside the pod. So, honestly, I think we can just leave it like that. But one thing for sure is we're going to get rid of all this, like, stone right here in the ground and fix this up and all the creeper holes. Yeah, we need to fix this area. But besides that, I think it's done. I think we have officially everything done for today's minecraft survival guide episode but looking at today's episode we did it a lot today so first thing was we made ourselves a villager breeder that was back there i guess right there we made what around 50 a little bit less than 50 villagers and then we moved them into the storage room in there then after that we made this thing this this absolute beast of a machine by the way then after that we went ahead and connected it up to the storage room and then i believe that was it huh yeah i'm pretty sure so yeah then after that it just started to work and oh we also moved the villagers i i don't know yeah we know I, I did say that actually okay well uh, well, well oh yeah the chests aren't rendered in anyways well yeah we did a lot today and i'm kind of proud of that but yeah i think that is the end of today's episode but like i said hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video and catch the next one in the next couple days but anyways i'm out of here goodbye Look, yeah, 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 I came on the scene and I did it alone, I work every weekend, I've been in the zone.